Hello everyone, it's me, it's Lucas from Foxtech, and in this video, we're going to be discussing how you can choose or how you can check out what happens when you get the pop-up like this. So for example, you might have noticed that your iPhone shows this message. Important display message, unable to verify this iPhone has a genuine Apple display. Now there are some things you should of course, of course know about it. In case you have recently got your display, uh, display like replaced, that means that this message is likely here because the display was indeed not at the original part. So this might be the problem. However, if you get your display replaced in an authorized service, chances are that it should be fine and that it could only be the software issue, which is something that a lot of people have noticed. So there are some situations which I came across from people that I know and they have had this pop up on their phone and basically they went to the Apple store to um, the Genius Bar or whatnot and they did a bunch of diagnostics but they did not even know what uh, the cause was and how it happened. And they said basically that the display is fine so it might happen that the display is going to be okay on your side but there are there is going to be some kind of software issue with it something behind that so in this if this is the case if you have checked it out if you know that you for example did not even change the display or that you got to replace in the authorized service of course at first you should bring it back to let them know what's going on but if they insist that it's the original one and you have someone experienced that tells you that it is the real deal then it's probably just a software issue and in this sense if this is the case what you have to do is just do the basic resetting like the person which i know tried to reset all of the settings and stuff so if you go to the settings general transfer and reset they try to reset i don't know like all the settings and network and everything but this didn't do the trick what helped them get rid of the software issue was to erase all content and settings on their device which is this option at the bottom and then restarting the iPhone from backup so if this is really the case if you cannot get outside of that if you cannot get rid of this little pop-up this is perhaps the option that you will probably have to go with so yeah I know it's probably not the best one or the most convenient one, but if there is something going on with the software and that the actual display is fine, then you will likely need to go through these steps. And if not, and this is obvious, like you should always just make sure you run the latest version of iOS because can, this can also save you from many different issues and help you solve many different things on your iPhone. So definitely something that you should always do. And yeah, this is basically how you can uh, go ahead and make it work. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will catch you guys later in the next video.